Hello, we are over at 1800 Sanders in Waynesville. Give you a street neighborhood overview. And I will point out, uh, this is the house that has this uh, shared driveway dispute going on with the neighbors. There is that line that they have decided is their driveway. Uh, there is a shared driveway agreement um, registered with the city, so or county, not city. So you do have access to um, the driveway. But again, just want to make you very aware that there is the potential um, for disagreements with the neighbors already. Two car garage. Siding of the home looks good. You do have a brick front right here. We'll do some house stats. This is a four bedroom, two bath home. It was built in 1981. Square footage on it is 1640. Lot size is 0.276, so just over a quarter of an acre. This is a wood burning fireplace. It's got the laminate flooring. Coat closet when you come in. And then I'm sure you heard the uh, smoke detector does does need a new battery. Uh, we have electric furnace, electric water heater. Looks like there's a little bit of settling up there that they have tried to patch. So really, I mean, this could be your living room. This could be your living room. Uh, this house does have some good uh, space. You have your laundry here and then your main breaker box. Kitchen's tucked back over here. You got the dishwasher. There are some spaces in the flooring that uh, it could have been installed a bit better. So different laminate flooring, but it seems to be in fairly good condition in these rooms. That's the garage, we'll peek over there in a minute. You know, this could be a dining room, an office. We have bedroom one right over here tons of bright lights um, ceiling panels up there drop ceiling although it is pretty high but yes yeah, ceiling panels it has the same uh, laminate flooring in here closets and we do have some cosmetic things like this door, you know, could be finished and trimmed out. There's no baseboards. These windows um, are newer windows. The same as these in here. Yeah, and just, just little things like this, like it wasn't quite all the way finished. Uh, the framing around the windows, not quite all the way finished. We will peek out back while we're here. Uh, it is spring break, so there are some kiddos playing.
a nice covered area. There is a gate, so this is a nice fenced yard, shed. And then a ramp to get in. Let's see, it looks like maybe, maybe foam or something. Little kitty door or small dog door. Two car garage. Water softener. Looks like some kind of patching was done up there. Um, as I have mentioned before, definitely uh, recommend getting a home inspection. A home inspector would be able to, you know, definitely talk about a lot of these little things I'm pointing out. This is looks like a wood burning furnace. Okay, we're not gonna open it. So I don't know if this is still connected or not because it does say that the heat is electric. And I will point out too that I would say they probably had a kitty box out here because it smells very much like cat. Uh, attic access. All right, there's the front door. This is the hallway. Here's our bedroom too. So we do see some gaps in the flooring in here. Again, that is more of a cosmetic issue. dark spot up in that ceiling. It could just be dirt, dust. So I'm not seeing, you know, typically what we would see with if it was like um, a, a leaking roof. Do have some damage to the door here. This is the bathroom. We do have a couple cracked tiles. Single sink vanity. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other water spots on the ceiling. We have a tub shower combo. Bit of staining in here, it's probably just dirty. Um, up top, there could be re caulked, it was not caulked very well. Uh, and it looks like that's some um, little triangles. I don't think the toilet is probably level, so it probably needs to be re seated. All right, this is going to be the master. It's got that same laminate that's been um, through most of the house. And really just one long closet in here.
This is a good size bathroom. You definitely could fit um, a bigger vanity in here. There's room over there for storage. This appears to be linoleum that was not laid correctly, not stretched. So again, this is kind of a cosmetic thing. You can't see what's underneath it, obviously, but that in of itself is not super concerning. They went a little crazy with caulk around the tub. So definitely a DIY. Again, this is cosmetic over time. Yes, this could become an easy um, an issue, but this is a fairly easy fix. Uh, same as here. And then caulking up top as well. Are we a tent? Okay. Let's see, we have a little bit of peeling paint up there. Bathrooms, you know, do have a lot of water, a lot of humid humidity. So it could have been that they picked a, a bad paint choice. Yeah, you could definitely add a coat or a coat, a towel closet in here. Get a larger vanity. But great, great size bathroom. You could definitely do a lot with this. Uh, you are missing a door. And then bedroom number four. It's got the same flooring. Again, looks like maybe the flooring got wet here. So it has swelled a little bit. I don't think any of our closets had doors on them. A little bit of cracking there in the corner. All right, that, that is our house. Let's see, this overlooks the front. This bedroom overlooks the front of the house. Uh, that is our house. Uh, overall, not in bad condition. Uh, does need a lot of cosmetic fixes. And let's see, we went over house stats. Uh, yearly taxes on this one is $785. And this house is listed for $144.9. It's been on the market for nine days. I will get this uploaded to you and we can discuss it.